Thank you Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Say goodbye to brick-like phone cases and hello to Casetify's slim and sleek design. I absolutely love the look and durability of this case. With being a busy wife and mother, I need a case that can keep up with my lifestyle, which is why I chose Casetify. With Casetify's wide variety of prints and customizable cases, you are sure to find the right case for you. Casetify's latest protection technology, EcoShock TM, provides 20% more protection in their new Impact series. Casetify also has your back with accessories. Go hands-free with their phone strap that's available in a variety of colors and styles. You can also advance your phone's protection with Casetify's scratch and fingerproof camera lens protector, plus their blue light blocker screen protector. With Casetify, you have protection from the height of up to an 11.5 drop, five times the military standard, meaning Meaning that it's been drop tested 130 times to ensure durability and ultimate protection. You can also customize your case to make it personalized to you. Go to caseify.com forward slash myprocer to get 15% off your Casetify order today. I just woke up as y'all saw, made the bed and everything. Baby girl, she's right here with me. <laughs> did you think, did you think she was gonna last more than 10 seconds in that crib? Awake? No. <laughs> she's just, she likes company, so I'm just like, okay, girl, whatever. But I'm just about to wash my face, do my little skincare routine. So my days are different. Um depending on the day of the week but today is a tuesday and usually my husband's like in the house and he's able to help out and stuff but today he's not working from home and he's at a coffee shop working so it's literally me and baby girl like and i wouldn't have any other room but i'm just about to do my skincare routine one thing like i've mastered is doing things quickly i've always been like a quick worker but when you have a baby and she gives you 10 minutes a piece, oh, you will get your skincare, your makeup, and your outfit on in 10 minutes. So after I do my skincare and kind of get dressed, we're gonna head upstairs because it's time for school. Moms are so multi-talented because we're chefs, we're school teachers, we're hairstylists, we're everything. So um, Genesis, my daughter is two months old for anybody who doesn't know. She is two months old eight weeks and we've already been starting her like development training so we're gonna do some books we're gonna look at some colors we're gonna look at some shapes we're gonna look at some patterns um we're gonna try to feel stuff we're gonna do some tummy time just to trigger all of her development skills my mother-in-law is who started off with like her teaching and then my mother-in-law left recently so i'm here to pick up the pieces and just continue with that because it's obviously it's so crucial for a child to have like development skills and everything like that and the earlier they start the better so after i do my skincare she's really chilling right now like i'm proud of her she's straight chilling i'm proud of you girl my husband got her this little lamb <laughs> he's like i don't like this little unicorn she got i want to get her a lamb and he did and he did but today's just gonna be like realistic like what's tea like what goes on in somebody's life who has a child who has a husband who you know what i mean very much yeah <laughs> this morning actually started off good though she wasn't screaming at the top of her lungs so i think that's a win for me and you just gotta make the best of it obviously before i turn the camera on i did my prayer and that's if you don't start there i promise you your day is probably going to be like 10 times worse because i need the strength of god i need the patience of god i need the wisdom of god and i just have to ask for that on a daily with being a wife with being a mother there's so many tasks and demands that call you but you need to be in your right mind to even be capable of showing up in all the ways that you need to okay so i'm gonna finish up my skincare 
do a little bit of makeup, put on my outfit, and then we're going to go upstairs and start school. Class is in session, baby girl, so be ready. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. How you doing, girl? You're so cute. Of course. Of course you're so cute. Cause you're mama's girl. <laughs> Clearly, I'm pumping and she's, you know, she's chilling to be honest. <laughs> Honestly, she's not doing too bad this morning. Usually she'd be a little cranky and just like not feeling it, but she, she's doing good. So I just got her bottle ready. She's about to drink. Let's see, four ounces. I've been trying to give her six, but she don't want six. She wants four ounces. So I'm gonna give her her milk. I've been pumping. This is my first pump of the morning. As y'all can see, I did my makeup. I don't have my shirt on right now, but I just have like a regular casual shirt on. I like to get dressed. So if I have to run out, I'm presentable outside because usually there's not enough time for me to get dressed before I run out. So if I have to just run out, I'd rather just already be dressed. So if you can, mama, take like 20 minutes in the morning, just get yourself together so you'll be ready for anything that day. Yeah, I am sorry. So I'm gonna feed her and then we're gonna get into her learning. I wanna show you guys what I do. Do you, are you gonna go to school? You gonna learn, learn, learn. You gonna learn, learn, learn. She loves school, y'all. She really be feeling it. I know, and mommy's gonna teach you today. Mommy's gonna teach you today. <laughs> she is so cute. So I'm about to feed her and then change her diaper and change her clothes. Well, I'll talk to y'all when I'm changing her clothes because I want to show you her closet because it's so cute. Whew. Okay. So just finished feeding and everything and now I'm about to pick out her outfit. We're not going anywhere today, so I'll probably just put like a little long, ooh, a little long sleeve onesie on her and some pants because it is getting cooler. So, oh, she ain't never wore green before. It don't really match, but it'll be cute. So here's her little outfit and let's go put it on. So newborns only get like three baths a week. So I just like to do like a little wipe down of her face and her little neck. She gonna cry. It's okay, babe. It's okay, babe. And now, we get her dressed. Time for tummy time. Time for tummy time. Yes. Good girls. Good girls. You are strong. You're getting stronger every day. Look at you lifting your head up. Look at you. Go, my love, go. Yes. Yes! Yeah, you're doing it. You're doing it. Come on, Genesis. Come on, Genesis. <laughs> Y'all see her? She's doing so good. So we're gonna continue with our tummy time. Look, now she's stuck in her hand. She's distracted. So let's continue with our tummy time and then we're gonna do some like interactive stuff. Look at some patterns, get her eyes working, her neck muscles moving. That's gonna be next, so we gonna finish up our tummy time. You did good in tummy time. You did good. But remember, it's now time for the next. So it's time to look at some patterns. Get your eyes moving so you can be curious. Yeah. So you could be curious and look at some patterns without bleeding hands, but it's fun. See, okay, mommy will show you, but it's fun. So we have these circles. Meow, meow, princess. She's looking at, she wanna look at the draft, y'all. <laughs> you wanna look at the draft? I'm trying to show you your cards. Hey, I'm showing you your cards. Do your eyes see your cards? What if we look at this pattern? Is that cool? Is that cool to look at? We get her development toys from Love Every. They have a whole bunch of interactive toys for all months. This is like the newborn kit that we have. 
Hey, hey, hey. Why are you upset? Is it too much? Is it too much? Are you overstimulated? Are you overstimulated? Hey, what you did good. Hey, I'm proud of you. You did good. I think you're sleepy. So what we're trying to do is the easy method, which is eat, activity, sleep, you time. Let me zoom you out. So obviously I fed her, and then we did a little bit of activity time with the tummy time and looking at her cards. Usually we'll go through and look at her word book, get her familiar with like different animals and different sounds and how they correlate. You know, you press the animal and it'll give you like the the sound of it but I think she's a little cranky and she's tired so it's very important to listen to your child's cues with the easy method it's not like when you have a routine for your child it's not so much at 12 o'clock you have to sleep at 1 o'clock you have to eat at 2 o'clock you have to have activity it's more so like I see her cues right now she's she's sleepy so I'm gonna put her down but I was able to get the activity in before the sleep so it's just about being strategic and planning it I know around this time she gets sleepy but that doesn't mean at 12 30 exactly she needs to go to sleep she's gonna go to sleep when she needs to go to sleep which is when she tells me she wants to go to sleep and right now she's definitely sleepy you sleepy you sleepy but you did good with your tummy time. You did good with your cards. I know you didn't see your cards for a while, but it's okay if you're sleepy. It's okay. With newborns, they just sleep a lot. They eat a lot. They cry a lot. <laughs> but um, we still love you. We still love you. It's just dope, though, because I'm starting to see her, like, grow and learn she's able to smile now she does social smiling she can lift her head up so you know she's just growing out of like the little newborn puppy phase because like newborns when they just come out they literally sleep like all day so she's up more during the day sleeps longer during the night and we're just getting her into a routine so i'm about to put her down and lay her down in her crib Ooh. Okay, y'all, so she is finally down. What time is it? 1 30. So it's lunchtime, y'all. I'm literally starving. I've had like this little granola bar for breakfast. I'm definitely feeling like a little overwhelmed, y'all, because not only do I have to try to mommy and all that type of stuff, but I have a lot of work to get done as well. Thankfully, my husband just came back and he's going to be able to take over like the daddy role while I try to get some work done. I want to pick up the house just a little bit because I feel like that's also why, you know, I'm feeling some type of way. But um, and I need to eat. So <laughs> it's a lot of factors like I'm hungry. I need to clean up and I need to work so I think the biggest thing with me is just writing things down and for any mom like if you don't write it down it's probably not gonna get done and you're just gonna continue to feel overwhelmed because you have so many thoughts and tasks and all that but if you put it down on paper it seems achievable so I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna write my to-do list and then I'll probably do like a little montage of just me picking up and trying to get some work and making some lunch because I'm hungry. Sometimes you just gotta affirm to your baby that I hear you and I value how you feel. Heard it here first, folks. I have another iced coffee. 
Because that's the only way I'm gonna be able to do these emails. So he's gonna take over for a little bit on like the parenting tip and I'm just gonna lock in on work. I have to get this video finished and uploaded for y'all. So I'm about to get that done and then we'll check in a little bit later. But I think she's about to eat again. And then put her down for a nap. For, for the nap. And what I'm learning now is it's called power. Power hour, but not even an hour. You got 20 minutes to knock out as much as you can. You have 20 minutes to do everything you can as a parent because that baby is going to be good. One hour. There we go. <laughs> so I will talk to y'all a little bit later. <laughs> Genesis, what's wrong? Because it doesn't seem to be like anything's wrong. You just want to be held. This is the real, yo. I was able to get like probably an hour to like do my lunch, finish this video. And she's back at it. What? Can you tell your aunties what's wrong? Hey. Just took a nap. You just ate. Do you need your diaper change? Do you need your diaper change? Do you have some gassies? Should we try to get some gassies out? Do I try to get some gassies out? Okay. Okay. You ready? Let's see. What do you have for me? Okay. You don't have any toots. You don't have any toots. There are no toots. I know, but there are no toots. There's just none. There's none. <laughs> there's none. So what do we do now when there's no toots? Should I just change your diaper? Huh? Should I change your diaper? Yeah? Yeah? Change your diaper? Huh? Say ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. You can do it. Ooh, ooh. What's up, y'all? So, first of all, when I say, y'all know, baby girl has barely been down all day. She took like a 20 minute nap earlier, but she's been knocked out for the past hour. And it's six o'clock and she needs to go to bed at eight. So I'm trying to like get her up, but she's just exhausted because she hasn't slept all day. How convenient, now she wants to sleep near her bedtime. But anyways, I think I'm just about to make us some din din. din. What's up, y'all? I'm gonna make some salmon. What's good? You look handsome. Man, I've been looking at you all day. It's like seriously, no, not even playing. And what you been? What you been seeing? I've just been seeing it's giving face. I really like your braids. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? You just have a very wholesome, beautiful, like. Dang, I took my ring off. I only took my ring off because I was washing my hands so much today, and I did not feel like keep taking it off to put lotion on. So, but you know. We still wet it though. <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I think honestly, I'm just gonna cook us some dinner and we're just gonna call it a night. That's basically my days. Like this is what my days consist of, just trying to find, just trying to find a way to make it through. But um, this was a really good video and I hope that it could just shed light on, you know, the reality of my life. And if you want more videos like this, make sure to let me know down below. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. God bless y'all. I might 
show a montage of me making dinner, but if I don't, I'll see you next video, and yeah.